Uh, well, hello, everyone. My name is Yusuf, and welcome back to the Essential Grammar in Use course. If you would like to practice on your own, the recommended book to buy would be this Cambridge Essential Grammar in Use book. This will help you with everything that we are learning in this course. So, today we are starting on lesson 11, which is worked, got, went. Now, we haven't had any homeworks yet since this is the first lesson after the uh, final exam, but whenever homeworks are posted, remember to do them. Here we have worked, got, went, past, simple. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'll give you a quick recap on who I am. Hello, my name is Yusuf. I'm from Cairo, Egypt, but I live and study in the United States of America. I will be your teacher for this course. So getting started, we have worked, got, went, etc. past simple. Now you might be wondering what does etc. mean? Uh, this ETC stands for etc. and etc. stands for it can mean other things. So like it can be worked, it can be got, it can be went, it can be other things. So it doesn't have to be those three. So here we have they watch TV every evening. So that's present simple. Okay which means that they do it every day, not they did it before, not they do it after. So they watched TV every or yesterday evening. That's the past simple. Okay. That means that they did it before. They're not doing it now and they're not doing it in the future. They did it before. So watched is the past simple. So watched is past simple and watch is present simple. Okay. So we have, I watched. We watched, you watched, they watched. Then we have he watched, she watched, it watched. So I'm going to ask you guys. So watch is what simple? The first one is what simple? You can write your answer in the chat. What's the first one? Present. And watched is which one? Past. All right. Good job. Um, so now we have the past simple is often ED. So it often ends in ED. So here we have watch. So this is present simple. But this one ends in ED, which makes it past simple. It doesn't always end in ED, but it often does. Okay. So for example, we have work. If it's past, it turns into worked. Clean. If it's past, it turns into cleaned. Now I'll ask you, start, if it's, if it's past, what does start turn into? Started, good job. What about dance? Danced, what about stayed? Stayed, what about need? Needed. Okay. All right. So now we have examples. I clean my teeth every morning. This morning, I cleaned my teeth. Okay. So cleaned. Is that simple, present simple, or past simple? That's past. Okay. Good job. So clean without the ED. Is that present simple or past simple? That's present. Okay, good job. So now we have Terry worked in a bank from 2005 to 2011. So worked. Is that present simple or past simple? That's past. Good job. Okay. Yesterday, it rained all morning. It stopped at lunchtime. So rained. Is that present or past? That's past. Good job. And stopped. Is that present or I'm sorry, present or past? It's also past. All right, good job. So we enjoyed the party last night. We danced a lot and talked to a lot of people. The party finished at midnight. Okay, so I'll make this easier for you guys. All of these are the exact same one. So which one is it? They are all past. So enjoyed is past. Danced is past, talked is past, and finished is past. All right, good job. And then here we have spellings. So try turns into tried, and it's spelled differently. 
stopped, you have to add a P to make it ED, so stopped. Study turns into studied, and it's spelled differently with an IED. Plan turns into planned. Copy turns into copied. Okay. Good job. Let's go ahead and move on. Okay. So here we have irregular verbs. Okay. So irregular means not regular. Okay. So the past simple is not ED. Okay. So these are where the past simple, instead of being like stopped, it doesn't end with an ED. Okay. So begin, begin. The past simple for that would be began. Okay. Break. The past simple for that would be broke. Bring. Brought. Build. Built. Buy. Bought. Catch. Caught. Come. Came. Do. Did. Drink. Drank. Eat. And ate. So these are our first group. We have more. We have fall and fell, find and found, fly and flew, forget and forgot, get and got, give and gave, go and went, have and had, hear and heard, know and knew. Okay. So there are a lot of these. Um, so if you want to, you can pause and uh, take the time to read these, but I'm going to number each one. So one, two, three, four. Oh, that is a weird looking four. Let me do that again. Four. Okay. So I usually get up early, but this morning I got up at nine o'clock. Okay. So got, where is got? Which group? Group number two. All right. Good job. All right, now we have, we did a lot of work yesterday. So where is did? Which group? One. Good job. Caroline went to the cinema three times last week. Which group is went in? Two. All right, good job. Okay. James came into the room, took off his coat, and sat down. So where is... Okay, so here we have came, took, and sat. Okay. So came is a number one. Right? Where's took? Which group? Group four. Okay, good job. And sat. Where is sat? Also group four. Okay, good job, everyone. Let's go ahead and move on to the exercises, okay? So we're going to complete each sentences with these words. So we have clean, die, enjoy, finish, happen, open, rain, start, stay, want, okay? So I cleaned my teeth three times yesterday. So the word that we have is clean. We added the ED, okay, to make it past simple. And we have, I cleaned my teeth three times yesterday. Now we have, it was hot in the room, so I blank the window. So which word? Opened. Good job. Okay, so let's mark her this off. And mark her this one off. So the film was very long. It blank at 7.15 and blank at 10 o'clock. So the first one has started, okay, it started at 7.15 and finished at 11 o'clock, or 10 o'clock, sorry. So let's mark both those off. When I was a child, I blank to be a doctor. Which one is that? Wanted, good job. Okay, cross it out. The accident blank last Sunday afternoon. Happened. Okay, good job. 
The weather is nice today, but yesterday it blank all day. Rained. Good job. Okay. We blank our holiday last year. We blank at a very nice place. So for this one, the first one would be enjoyed. We enjoyed our holiday last year. So let's go ahead and mark that off. And the second one is we stayed at a very nice place. Okay. Which leaves us with one left. Anne's grandfather blank when he was 90 years old. Anne's grandfather died when he was 90 years old. All right. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. So we're going to write the past simple of each verb. Okay, so for the first one, we have get. So the past simple is got. Okay, so we have see. All right, so now we have saw. Good job. Now we have play. What's play? Played. Good job. Now we have pay. What's pay? Paid. Good job. So paid is spelled P-A-I-D. Okay. So now we have visit. We have visited. Good job. We have buy. Bought. Good job. We have go. Went. Good job. We have think. Thought, good job. We have copy. Copied, good job. We have no. New. Okay. We have put. Does anybody know what put is? Okay, here, let's do this. Okay, so we have put. Let's go back, okay, and find put. So put is still put, okay? So most of you actually got that one right. Good job. So put is still put. Okay. All right. So put stays the same. Speak. Spoke. Good job. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So today, not today, sorry. Um, we're going to read each of these. Okay. And we're going to place the verbs inside of the blanks. So we're gonna look at the pictures. We're gonna place the verbs inside of the blanks and we're just gonna make sure that it makes sense, okay? It has to make sense. So we have a picture here. There's a lady. The lady is getting out of bed, okay? Here, it looks like the lady is driving to the airport, okay? Now she is checking in, okay? Now she is at the cafe and she's drinking some something. Could be a coffee, who knows? Then she goes up in the plane, and then it seems like she landed in Madrid, okay? So last Tuesday, Lisa flew from London to Madrid. She blank up at 6 o'clock in the morning. What do we put in this blank? She got up at 6 o'clock in the morning. All right, good job. Got. Okay. And blank a cup of coffee. So we have had, I mean, sorry, have, what would we put instead? Had. Okay. At 6.30, she blank home and blank to the airport. 
She left home, left, and what's the second one? What's the second blank? We have drive here. So what would drive be? Drove. Okay. Good job. Drove to the airport. When she blank there, she blank the car, blank to the airport building. Okay, so we're just going to stop there. We're not going to keep going because then it would go into the next line. Okay, so when she blank there, what would you put there? When she got there, okay. Got. This is really messy, but that's it. That says got. There, she blank the car. So we have the word parked. So we it turns into parked. P A R K E D. Okay. Blank to the airport. So we have the word walk. What would that turn into? Walk to the airport. I'm not going to write that down because it just makes the page messy. Uh, walk to the airport building and blank in. So we have the word check. So it would be checked. All right, good job. So checked in. Then she blank breakfast at a cafe. We have have. So then she had breakfast at a cafe. Okay, I'm going to erase all of the words that I wrote because they don't look very nice. Okay. Then she had breakfast at a cafe. So now we have and blank for her flight. So we have the word wait. What, what would it be? And waited for her flight. Okay. The plane blank on time. We have the word depart. So what would that turn into? Departed. Okay. Good job. Departed on time and blank in Madrid two hours later. So we have arrive. So what would that turn into? Arrived. Good job. And then we have take. Finally, she blank a taxi from the airport to her hotel in the center of Madrid. So we have took. Good job. All right. Let's erase all of that and move on to this. 11.41. So we have write sentences about the past. Okay. So we're going to use things like yesterday and last week. We can use anything. See, so it says, etc. That means we can use other things. But here it gives us like two examples, yesterday and last week. So we have James always goes to work by car. Yesterday, he went to work by car. Okay. So Rachel often loses her keys. She blank. Last week. What can we write in that blank? So in, in this one, all we're doing is we're taking these and we're rewriting them to make it look um, in, in the past. So Rachel often loses her keys. So she lost her keys last week. Okay, so that's good. Number two is done. So Kate meets her friends every evening. She blank yesterday evening. So what would we put in this one? She met her friends yesterday evening. All right, good job. I buy a newspaper every day. Yesterday, I blank. Yesterday, I bought a newspaper. All right. We often go to the cinema at weekends. Last Sunday, we blank. Last Sunday, we went to the cinema. All right. Good job. Okay. I eat an orange every day. Yesterday, I blank. Yesterday, I ate an orange. Tom always has a shower in the morning. This morning, he blank. He had a shower. All right, good job. And then we have our friends often come to see us. They blank last Friday. They came to see us last Friday. All right, good job. 
Good job, everyone. So now let's move on to the next and last thing. So we're going to write sentences about what you did yesterday. Okay. So our first example is I went to the theater. What else could we put here? We need five more examples. I went to a mountain yesterday. Okay. That's two, one. That's number two. Uh, I hung out with my friends. That's number three. Okay. Three more. I ate pizza yesterday. Okay. All right. Two more. I went to the club. Okay. And one more thing. I took a photo. All right. Okay. And then we have, I put up a good deal. All right. Good job. Okay. All right. So great job, everyone. Thank you all for attending. You all did a great job and I enjoyed having all of your input. Remember any future homeworks that we have, please turn them in and I will see you all next time.